The process of taking raw material and turning it into something functional has always struck me as a magical process. So to have the opportunity to start by splitting a log, then spending my days transforming its pieces into a finely crafted piece of furniture that will most certainly last my entire lifetime is extraordinary. Throw in the fact that I'm in the tranquil Tennessee countryside surrounded by hand tools and good company, and there's no wonder I always come back rejuvenated and at peace. Greg Pennington is a master chairmaker in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I only met him a year ago, but I feel like I've known him a few lifetimes. Not only is his friendly demeanor infectious, but he's an incredible teacher full of valuable knowledge and information. Building at Greg's always starts the same, with splitting a log to then turn into a piece of furniture. He not only teaches you how to use the traditional tools for this task, but also the reason behind it. If you split a log along its grain and let it dictate its own path, then it will be world stronger than a similar piece you cut at the bandsaw or table saw. And if you're interested in building a chair to last a lifetime, and then some, then that strength is needed. And this is just one golden nugget of information I've learned from Greg during the class. I am predispositioned to fill at home in a shop because it's very much my happy place. However, Greg's shop brings on a new level of joy and comfort that I don't experience anywhere else. The atmosphere and the work, it makes me feel relaxed, at peace, and meditative even. It's an environment that I can potentially joke with a friend on an adjacent shave horse or just sit in easy silence and listen to the unique tool noises. Greg is making chair making more accessible by offering templates for several different chairs, jigs, and rockers, this one included. I'll leave you links in the description for Greg's class schedule as well as the templates available. close to the end here. We want to get these set. Okay. Just need to go ahead and get that elbow stretched. Oh my goodness.
Greg's classes offer me the opportunity to use an assortment of tools that I don't typically incorporate in my normal projects. Coming from using mostly power tools, it's interesting and exciting to me to see and understand which hand tools takes the place of which power tool. I've done power carving before where I've removed a lot of material at once to try and shape something, and it was very satisfying. But it's a, it's a different sort of satisfaction, using a scorp and feeling the sensation of removing one chunk at a time, then moving to the travisher to smooth out the rough marks left from the scorp, and then moving to the spoke shape to remove the rough marks left behind from the travisher, and then finally moving onto a card scraper to be left with an unmarred seat that looks smooth and flawless. Making this very traditional Windsor chair, it's easy in the sense that Greg won't allow you to mess it up, but it is a lot of work. It's full of details that require patience and attention, but the fact that it takes so much intentional thought and movement makes the end of the week's results that much more satisfying. It's a little surreal to me that I'll have this item for the rest of my life. Wherever I go, this chair will be with me. And then even after I pass, it could very well go through another person's lifespan as well. I can only think of one or maybe even two other items that share that same longevity. So this is incredibly special. And it's something that my hands made out of a tree. Sticking to the traditional Windsor style, after I perfected the chair, I painted it. First with two coats of red, then two coats of black. The idea behind the color scheme is so when wear spots start showing up on small areas of the chair, slight red will show through instead of bare wood. I'm using real milk paint for this final finishing touch. 
Royal Milk Paint is known for their traditional color palette, which is based on antique furniture. This is an environmentally friendly, non-toxic powdered paint where you just add water. And the fact that it comes from a powder form means it doesn't have a shelf life and also gives you the freedom to mix up your needed amount on a project to project basis. It has an extremely fast dry time of only 30 minutes. So I was able to get all of my coats of paint done in a single day instead of prolonging the steps over multiple days. I love Real Milk Paint because it acts much like a wood stain in that it absorbs into the wood rather than lay on top of it. And this allows for all of the intricate details of the piece to be seen even through the paint. If you're curious, the tape on the bottom is applied before paint so that after things are buffed and prepped for oil, I would have a clean spot to sign and date my work before applying a few coats of oil to it. If you're looking for a project as a relaxing escape or a unique learning experience, I highly recommend taking a class from Greg. You'll not only be able to take away a mind full of useful information, but also an heirloom piece of furniture that you'll always be proud of. If you're interested in templates, those are also linked for you down below. If you have been wanting to make a rocking chair, then I have templates for this design right here. Or if you go to my website, I have templates for tons of other projects as well. 